Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Twiss and welcome back to another episode of Factoria Tutorials. Today we're gonna have a look into the black science and the blue science. So we're gonna build these two and we're gonna do a two science per second layout and we will simply go for i think it's 14 machines of black and probably something similar for the blue ones i'm not quite sure at the moment i think it's oh no it's 32 is that correct crafting time of 24 seconds crafting time of 10 seconds seems as if that is correct yes okay so first of all let's do the output like that then we will need input blue and red same thing on the other side and yes i think that's a good idea and then we have almost already achieved the first goal and that is to do the main science production thingy and then of course we will need to fix all the inputs so that's how many is that that's 10 and i said 11 didn't i no, 14 it was, 14 it was, 14 it shall be, okay. So that's as well 14 blue ones, but we will need 32, so that's 28 plus 4, not 6. And then this should be 32, yes, correct, <coughs> nice. So now we should check the inputs. Let's uh, move over to get a little bit more space. Let's check the inputs for the military thing. Of course, first of all, we are gonna need some walls. And I think to do the walls, we're gonna need uh, two machines, probably. Something like that. And we're gonna do it First of all, let's do it here. Let's actually put the output here, the input here. Uh, sorry. Let's tell it to be walls. And then, of course, get the input over there. And then we could do something like this, I think. And then we could actually do something like this. Then we're done with the walls, except for some power pole. Okay, that's looking fine. So next up are our 11 machines of grenades. So first of all, let's move that a little over and then we can start working on our grenades and of course our ammo so we will need for grenades we need coal and iron uh, that's gonna be the coal that's gonna be the iron or is it the other way around a lot of coal not that much iron So let's actually mark these down. That's stone bricks and they are here. That's iron. And that's coal. Very nice. That's looking fine. Now the output and then of course the output of 
No, that's not correct yet. Uh, but actually, let's leave it as it is. Let's put these here. We will need some more, of course. And they will also need an input over there. So actually, what do they need the most? They need copper the most. So this over here is going to be copper. That's going to be copper. Nice. And then we will have that coming down here. And actually, let me check one thing. We will need... Okay, no, that should be fine. Actually, what I wanted to check is whether we can pull, uh, use this iron belt. Uh, no, that's not a good idea, actually. Okay, uh, let's continue with what we're doing. So, this is gonna be here, and then... Of course, this is this, and this goes here. We need some power poles. And that's looking fine. Nice. So now let's go ahead and take these. And I think, what did I say? We needed 11. So that's going to be 12. Yes. So we'll simply get rid of these. That's nice. And we have four of these. And then of course we will need two of the other ones. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe, maybe we can squeeze in another iron line here. That's quite convenient. Then we can do something like this. As simple as that. Very nice. And then finally we'll need the output of course. That's gonna come right there. And then we will need, how can we do that? We could, of course, do something like this. And then come in here, lay it on to there. And then this is gonna be steel, I guess. Yes. So that's steel. Very nice. So we're done with the military stuff, I think at least. And then we should be able to copy this over to here. Of course, we could think about some other way of placing these. They could as well, of course, be somewhere up there or something like that. But that doesn't matter too much for now. We'll check for the other stuff. Of course, we're gonna put the red, uh, the red circuits onto here. Then we're gonna need sulfur, that's gonna be on one side of these, on this side actually. So we can already get ourselves some combinators going. That's gonna be red circuits, advanced circuits. And this is gonna be sulfur. And then how many do we need? I'm not quite sure right now. We need something like 27, 28. 
of the engine thingies. Where are those? Here are they. So actually we will need quite a lot of stuff. They need steel, iron gear and pipe. And we will actually do, I guess, steel solo. I'm not quite sure yet. Yes, let's do steel solo and then let's feed them from... Ah, let's feed them from the bottom. That's better, I think. So... Wait a second. That's gonna be steel. And then we will go under and around. And then over there we'll do these inputs. Of course here we'll do a simple thing like that. And then we can go ahead, copy this. And then we should get some power poles going. Like that. Then we can go ahead and copy this. And that's how many? 20. 22, 24, 26, 28. Let's leave it as it is right now. Then, of course, we can simply do this. But we can, of course, also grab the whole thing. And slam it onto here. That's going to be fine. Then we can grab this one, just to make it a little more compact. Okay, and then over here... We will need... what else do we need? Pipes and gears. So actually, how many machines will we need? We will need four machines for gears... no, four mach three machines for pipes... and then two machines for gears. Pipes, there we are. Gears, there we are. That's looking nice. So now we can do this. And then we should be able to get a splitter going, of course, as well. Uh, that's steel. Let's actually tell it to be steel. And that's iron. And then, of course, we will do this. And right over here, we're gonna do this. Just like that. And some power poles. And it should be fine. So that's all loaded up. Of course, we left some power poles missing up there. So that's fixed and that's fixed. Nice. Then, of course, what is left to do is grab the whole thing. And slam it onto here. Actually, I would like to go a little further up. But actually, it would also be okay right there. Very nice. So, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And of course, see you guys next time in the next episode of Factorio Tutorials. Bye!